Why is whiskey spelled two different ways? And why isn't Maker's Mark on board? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. Uh, this is an interesting thing. I was at the store the other day and it like never really occurred to me the reasons why some liquor, or, I'm sorry, some whiskey is spelled with the E-Y and some with the Y. And we'll get into that in Maker's Mark. It's kind of like its own thing going on and we'll, we'll talk about that too. All right, so primarily two different ways you can spell whiskey, W-H-I-S-K-E-Y and W. H-I-S-K-Y. Uh, the E-Y is like uh, in the American version of whiskey. It is like uh, Irish and American. Back in the day, uh, Ireland being the, uh, you know, the supposed birthplace of whiskey um, and Scotland followed right behind. Uh, you know, there's the distinctions in the way that the Gaelic language and pronunciation uh, so the spelling was different and as it got a little bit more popular too, the whiskey from what I understand Kept the uh, spelling uh, separate just because I guess the flavors was different and it was a way to distinguish is this Irish whiskey is this Scottish whiskey uh, So you do see that a lot in uh, for instance in Japan They kind of emulate the Scottish whiskey, so they spell it basically Ireland and the United States are really the only two places that spell it with the K-E-Y and the W-H-I-S-K-Y is pretty much spelled like that all the way around the world. Although Canada, uh, you know, they emulate their whiskey uh, sort of like the Irish way of making whiskey, but they spell it with the S-K-Y, I guess, for their ties to, uh, you know, the UK. I mean, there are uh, primarily five types of American whiskey. You have your bourbon and rye and Tennessee whiskey and uh, single malt whiskey and blended whiskeys. Those are your five types of American whiskey. Back to the ways of spelling whiskey. That's primarily it. Anything from Scotland and anywhere else around the world, including Canada, uh, they spell it with the Y and anywhere uh, in the United States, except for this guy, and I'll explain that in a minute, uh, it is EY uh, along with Ireland. And I like Irish whiskey, they're pretty good too. So I'm glad that they spell it correctly. So of course, there's always an exception to every rule and Maker's Mark being straight Kentucky bourbon made in Kentucky, uh, they decided to keep the Y spelling on their whiskey, uh, you know, for their ties and uh, kind of like honoring the Samuels family and their Scottish Irish heritage. So I believe they're the only ones that uh, deliberately misspell it. If that's one way to look at it. So some of the differences between the Irish whiskey and the Scottish whiskey or Scotch is, um, you know, Irish whiskey tends to be sweeter and uh, Scotch whiskey tends to uh, to be aged longer than other whiskeys. You know, you get that real peaty flavor to it. So, uh, you know, the aging gives it a deeper, richer flavor. And, um, you know, that's where you get that kind of a, that little taste. Everyone knows that peat smoke. That's not for me. I'm not a big fan. There's only a couple of scotches that I really like. Uh, there's a Glen Levitt. 12 year that I think is really tasty and uh, there's a Macallan which is you know like the best there is I believe um, that's I think like a Macallan 18 I think that wins like almost all the awards so uh, those two are very tasty pretty expensive I don't get it too often because I'm not really a big scotch guy I, I think initially um, in the United States they had both spellings and then somewhere like around the 1800s um, because there was like a heavy presence of uh, Irish uh, Im immigrants uh, from Ireland that they uh, decided to take the Ireland Irish whiskey spelling. 
Japan's connection with Scotland is with Scotland's influence extending to Japan. When Japan first uh, distilled whiskey, they released its first Scotch inspired whiskey in 1929. Uh, Canadian whiskey is one of the most popular and sought after styles of whiskey. Canadian whiskeys are usually sweeter in representation. They, you know, they do gravitate more to the Irish style of whiskey making. That's uh, why it was unusual for the spelling to not kind of match up. But they often use a lot of corn in their mash, you know, leading to a little, you know, sweeter profile. Uh, sim you know, more similar to bourbon. And in Canada, uh, whiskey is usually referred to as rye or like rye whiskey. Uh, even though it's come like mostly from corn, they still call it rye. So they call it rye when it's from corn and they spell it wrong. Alright everybody, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these three uh, liquors here. Are you a scotch person? Are you a bourbon? What do you like? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that little bell right here. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next time on Thicker Liquor. Go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. Uh, or the highway. And